Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode on the Brocroft server. In the previous episode we worked on this guy here, the bee farm. So we've got pretty much all the exterior done minus the legs. We should be hopefully getting them put in soon. Also in the last episode I mentioned that I needed to put some proper storage in for the kelp farm and the iron farm. So that is exactly what I've done off camera. As you can see, a lot tidier here now. So we've still got all the kelp coming in over there, which will fall down into all the storage here. Into there, nice and neat. Also over at the iron farm, let's see if we can get around here. Ah, oh, skills. Can I get down there? Nope. Nope, fail. Down here in the iron farm, again, tidied it up. So instead of it looking untidy going up there, just hovering over there. I've now moved it so all the iron comes underneath and then into all these chests here. As for the poppies, got them coming over to this one but instead of storing the poppies which I've no need for I've now got it turning into bone meal so we've got a composter about there so the poppies will be fed into that composter all through that hopper in there is bone meal. Nice. So in this episode, I want to get the interior to the bee farm done. And also put some legs on the thing. Also, that. It's untidy, so we'll do a bit of terraforming today. And get all that tidied up. So here we are on the interior of the bee farm and I've started putting this place together a little bit. <laughs> I've gone for a nice white palette with the quartz so that'll make the orange of the honey and the honeycomb stand out a little bit more. I think that looks pretty clean and fresh. That'll look pretty cool on both sides. So we'll try and get that done today as well. On this side I've managed to put storage in for well, they're an automatic collection system for the honey. As you can see, that's coming in nicely. So all I've done is connect these guys up to hoppers. And that'll go around. Feed itself all the way back here and into a dropper lift system. That will drop it into hoppers and into these guys here. I was toying with the idea of putting a dispensing system for the bottles to take them back into there. But I didn't like the way it looked, so I've just gone for a manual system where we've got chests on top of the hoppers that feed into the dispensers. I think that'll be good enough. We can fit a lot of balls in there, so this place shouldn't need that much filling up. Right, I saw the rubbish out of the way now. Put that over there for now. Then what we'll start on is the storage system for the honeycomb, so that'll loop all the way around there with hoppers and just nice and simple drop into chests there. I think I'll mirror it like it is on that side but we won't need the uh, dropper ladder up there as this will be coming from up high anyway. So what we'll do, we'll put a few chests in here. And then we can put the hoppers on the back side of these. Nice and easy. And then get these hoppers all linked up. Nice. So that's the hoppers all put in. Dead simple system. But all the honeycomb is now flowing in. Instead of overflowing like it is there. So we should have a nice collection of that building up. Awesome. Right, next thing we need to do is finish off the decoration in here. Obviously all that will be getting hidden. And hopefully take a ladder maybe up to the next floor. And we'll just put a nice little floor in up there. Nothing too much. I do want to keep it quite simple in here. I think it looks pretty fresh. Where has he come from? Where's my sword? There we go. Do one. Speaking. Right. 
let's get this interior done. Right, I'm in need of yet more quartz. Hello, mate. Don't mind me. Right, I had to get some quartz. I think this should uh, be enough for now. We'll just dump this. Not in the fuel one, in the input. In you go. These will light up. Yeah. I love that. Right, this should be nice and quick. Spitting out a lot of uh, smooth quartz for us. So then we can go and finish off that bit. Let's see if we get any of this. Ah, here we go. We can condense a lot of this down into kelp blocks. Ah, uh, here we go. Look at that come in. Awesome. Yeah. Be nice if there was a way for kelp blocks to be put together automatically instead of having to do this manually. First world problems and all, but hey. Done. Right, let's just wait for all this to come in and then we can crack on. I do love how fast this comes in. It's good to watch, especially in here. Look at that. Hopefully we should be there pretty soonish. I'd seriously recommend building one of these. I know there's a lot, a lot of builds out there that are bigger than these, but for smelting, and for burning things down, this is pretty quick. So let's grab these. Ah, oh, there we go. That's that. Let's go and finish this off. So I have started. It's looking, yeah, it's coming along much neater than it was before. So let's get this bit finished off. All right, we're down to the final few blocks of this bottom floor. Let's have a see what it looks like after this. There we go. Let's get down here. Take away all this. Take away all this. And... Ta-da! There we go. I think that looks pretty cool. Nice and neat, which is what I was going for. Obviously, we'll make that bit neater down there shortly, but... Yeah. I think that's coming on pretty well. Yeah. Alright. Let's get on to the top bit. Okay, progress update. Bee farm is done. I am thinking whether to change that bit. These, these blocks here for a different colour, maybe a darker colour to break it up. Probably the prismarine, dark prismarine. Um, I'm going to have a think on that one. And that's not right there anyway. Alright, so what I've done, obviously as you can see here, and then same on both sides really, so entranceway there, that will be covered up by a door shortly. In we go. And these are just the maintenance bays really, so We've got nice quick access to these guys there. Need to fill all them up with bottles. And then up we go. And this bit is all spawn proof. So we've got the half slabs and then covered them steps up with the iron bars. And then easy access to these guys as well. So there's ones with the shears in. And then we can get over to this side and then have a look at it down here. Yeah, I need to change that. Just a bit too white and orange down there, so I think a bit of darkness will improve that a little bit. I'll have a think. But anyway, exactly the same over this side that is over that side. And that is the interior for the bee farm. Done! Awesome. Well, 
Apart from the doors. But we're done. Right. I did change my mind and I went for the green. I think that looks much better. What do you guys think? Let me know in the bottom if you think the green or leave it white. But I think I think that break Oops. Hey! Ah, oh, ruined. Ruined. Let me just get that. There we go. Get out there. So easy to break, honey. Yeah, let me know what you think. White or green. But I think that green looks much better. It just breaks it up nicely. Yeah, I'm liking that. Let's have a look around the top. I'm going to leave this plain. There's no... I don't see any need to change any of this up here. Oh, yeah. I, I like that. Yeah, that's much better. Cool. Okay, so we're down at the bottom of the bee farm now. And I'm going to get on with these legs. I'm thinking about bringing it down to this level. Because I want to terraform this afterwards. So we can leave this at that level so they're not going down too far. So what I've thought is, can I do wooden legs? I think that goes with the theme of what we've got up there. Um, I've been toying with this for a while now. I think I'm going to go that shape, that size, and then bring it down and arch it out a little bit. Obviously, this will get terraformed down here, so we can work with that once it's down. Um, but we'll see how that goes. I'm going to mix it in, so we're going to have some oak wood and some birch logs as well. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So I'll get on with this and then uh, give you an update in a second. Alright, just got the last few finishing touches to this first leg and then I'll have a, a look away, see what it's like. Uh, put a few of these down. Yep, that's right. I'm hoping this turns out alright. I've been looking at this over and over and over and I still can't make my mind up. I'm putting a bit of prismarine again around here. That is kind of the theme of it. I'm hoping this kind of breaks up the legs. I'm not sure what to think of that. Mm. This is taking me f too long to decide what to do here. This is quite hard actually. Um, I think I like the wooden bits, the logs. I'm not sure about the prismarine. Hmm. Might look better when all four are done. I think that's what I might do. And then come back to it and have a look. See if the prismarine actually goes. Because I do want to extend the skirts down a bit. Just to offset that a little bit. So I might... Just finish all the four of these, see what it looks like, and then come back to it. Hi, yeah, snipe, missed, yeah, yeah. I'll stop you interrupting me. No. Anyone else? A gathering. What are we doing? Discussing wood. And a good old chat though, aren't they? You doing lads? Looks like a heated discussion. No, oh, he's had enough. No, it's coming back. I think we should break this up. I yeah. He's got my wood. Oh, this guy thought he'd come in as well. No, go away. Good. Right, it's the second leg in place. Let's have a look. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, 
are we thinking? I'm still not sure. Hmm. Obviously, it's going to look better when I terraform all that, because that is definitely not staying like that. And it's a mob farm under there as well. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Not convinced. Let's see what it's like when I've finished it. All right, ladies and gents, that is that finished at last. Let's get that spider. Missed. Let's get that spider. Yes. Right. Let's go and have a look at it. So I've put all four legs in now, and I have tidied up the underneath of it as well. There we go, that looks a lot better now. Uh, obviously these aren't going to be floating. We're going to terraform this. And that is my next job. Right. These are all stacked up. The thing I'm missing is cobblestone, and I'm not going to go mining for that, so I think I'll go to the shopping district and pick some up from there. How much we're we looking at. That's all stone. Awesome. One shulker for ten, ten diamonds. Hmm. Okay. Suppose I'll have to. I'm not mining. Cobblestone out. Let's get that up there. And one more. Suppose I get a shulker box as well. Yeah, dude. Right. Let's go back. How many are you around here? Right. Back to my house. Okay, I've got shulkers full of materials and empty shulkers ready to go. Let's get some terraforming done.
Okay, ladies and gents, I think that's enough terraforming for today. That took quite a while. So, my idea is to take this path all the way around. Uh, possibly a bridge over the little cove over there. I didn't have time today to do uh, the terraforming over here. That'll be a nice project for another time. Uh, managed to put this up on a little cliff and put it all together. I'm hopefully going to put something around here. So that's why I've left that bit. Um, but yeah, I think that looks way better than it did before. Okay, so that's going to do for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you did like the episode, please hit the like button. And if you'd love to see more, I'd love you to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, see ya.